enter the rest of this video, ye see, you must answer me these questions three. What is your name? I'm Wendell, of level one. What is your quest? Well, I'm trying to use enterprise SSDs in desktop computers because consumer SSDs aren't good enough for me. Okay, I mean, they're decent. But like this Intel P5800X, PCIe 4, there is no other storage on the planet that is faster, period. And you can still buy this, it's just expensive. What is the unladen airspeed velocity of the IOU ring transfer buffer DMA latency? Um, on the Intel or the AMD platform? Wait, what, 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 what do you mean, which platform? <laughs> So I may have finally completed that quest. This is the Gen Z EDSF, EDSFF1C U.2 cable, PCI Express 4.0, length 50 centimeters. That's the first ingredient. And the second ingredient is this Bizarro Land M.2 SSD. This SSD adapter thingy looks more complicated than some M.2 SSDs, but it is a glorified connector. Oh yeah, and this is like $100 of stuff. Please join our Patreon or Flowplane to help subsidize this insanity because I've bought so much stuff that doesn't work. It's insane. They're gonna take away our PCIe slots. I'm talking about the new generation Z690, Z790, X670E. There's like one or two expansion slots beyond your GPU and they're not very good. But the M.2, oh, PCIe 4, PCIe 5, got lanes for days. But our PCIe slots, ah, oh, you got two PCIe 3.0 lanes. Motherboard designers, what are you thinking? Enthusiasts aren't gonna be able to put up with this. That's madness. So we've done videos in the past where we've crammed 10 gigabit ethernet on M.2 and six SATA controllers and multiple MUX things and a PLX bridge and a slot breakout where you plug a card into an M.2 and then you have a PCIe slot over here that you could plug other stuff into like a capture card. But this, this is a PCIe redriver for PCIe 4 on an M.2. And there's, there's quite a few components here. And then we have the EDSFF Gen Z connector on the top here. If you bought an old school Optane, like this uh, Saber Raven thing, which now apparently is worth $1,500, good Lord. It would come with a cable like this. And this is a low profile M.2. There's a soldered connector here to U.2. That's what this connector is called. And so you have these two and a half inch devices that are a little thicker than normal SSDs. This is a form factor that's standard in the enterprise. And so Intel was sort of double dipping. They're like, okay, we've got a consumer version of our Optane and we've got a regular desktop version of the Optane, which by the way, these are on fire sale. These first gen Optane are on fire sale at Newegg. Check out my link below. You should, these are really good for ZFS pools. I've done a bunch of videos on that. These are still really good for loading things. I don't really like the smaller capacity ones for desktop workloads anymore. You can use them with Primo Cache for caching, but all that stuff I've covered in other videos, check that out. But this adapter cable, is really what this video is about. This is a PCIe 3 adapter cable. If you use this adapter cable with a PCIe 4 or even 5 drive, it's not going to work. So the alternative was you can get add-in cards like this. Now this is a two slot. This will take a by eight interface and give you two by four, so you can hook up two U.2. And these were much better than cables because the length of the wire that we're talking about right there is this. It's only about that. It's only about as far as light can travel in, in a few billionths of a second. It mostly works okay, except when it doesn't. With the level one, I mean, these work for me as long as I put them in an upper slot in my trusty Threadripper system, but if I put it in a lower slot on the motherboard, these don't work quite as reliably. Of course, with the level one community and the forum, there's a lot of people in the community, I see you, a Bavarian normie pleb, good job, uh, that have had mixed success. Uh, some people have bought uh, NVMe add-in cards, such as the one from Broadcom, but Broadcom cannot get their act together. The firmware is a buggy mess. If anybody from Broadcom would like to reach out to me, I can give you reproducible test cases that support has utterly failed on. Is everybody asleep at the wheel at Broadcom? I don't get it. I've taken matters into my own hands, really, is what this video is about. <laughs> my quest for the holy grail, in other words. 
And so this, I'm happy to report, is something that works consistently, and when it doesn't work consistently, you can actually reprogram it by flipping tiny little switches on this M.2 card. You see, there's two banks here, and it comes with this handy diagram. It doesn't really explain what it does. That's my job in this video. There's the diagram. Look at the close-up. For the 50 centimeter cable and this M.2, so far, it has worked really well, not just with the P5800X from Intel, but also the Micron 9400 and some other enterprise class SSDs, such as the Kioxia CD8. Yes, the CD8 is an extremely high-end up-and-coming SSD from Kioxia. You would be hard-pressed to find a better all-rounder enterprise class SSD. And unlike any consumer SSDs, all of these SSDs maintain their speed no matter how full it is. The drive's 90% full, doesn't matter. If it's rated for six gigabytes per second write speed, you will get six gigabytes per second write speed because it's enterprise grade. And that's why some of the enterprise features sort of lag behind their consumer counterparts. Sometimes to get the world record, you gotta slam a bunch of Samsung 980 or 990 Pros in a machine and a server, run the thing and get the world record result. I mean, and that's unfortunate because Samsung, ooh, they've really been on the struggle bus lately getting their firmware right in the consumer division as well. Anyway, you can pick these up on AliExpress or eBay. There's a link below. These work well. It has to do with the connector. The connector itself has to be rated for PCIe 4 speeds. The PCB has to be rated for PCIe 4 speeds. The dip switches have to be set appropriately for your motherboard for PCIe 4 speeds. This is something that I've tested on Z690, Z790, the MSI godlike motherboard, for example, got a lot of work out with this in almost all of its M.2 slots. The CPU connected PCIe 5 slot on my AM5 motherboards, including the Tai Chi, the Gigabyte uh, Aorus Master, the Asus Hero motherboard, and my MSI Mortar B660, which has some other firmware issues not related to this, but hopefully MSI will get those fixed pretty quick. It works. And it works consistently across all those motherboards. We got a lot of motherboards here. Oh, a, lot of, a lot of motherboards. You're welcome. So, if you're into the enterprise thing and have already bought a bunch of stuff that didn't work, this one works. It almost works at PCIe 5 speeds. Yeah, Samsung's got some PCIe 5 SSDs. You gotta fiddle with the jumpers. I think the weak spot for that is my cable. I, this connector is similar to the connectors that are in servers that I have that are PCIe 5 that work with the Samsung PCIe 5 SSD, but I think it's down to my cable. Good news though, the enterprise class Samsung PCIe 5 SSDs don't benefit tremendously from the PCIe 5 interface, so at least right now for the PCIe 5 SSDs on the market, if you are that crazy, you can run them at PCIe 4 until we can get a better hundred-ish dollar cabling solution. One of the things I've been working on. One of those things that's just been driving me crazy. Maybe this is something I should put on the level one store. The level one text, you know, insane person PCIe device interface kits. Because I imagine if I buy a hundred of them at a time, the, the, the cost would be a little bit less and I can sort of pass the savings on to you because I mainly do this stuff as a passion project <laughs> rather than a way to eat, hence Patreon and Floatplane. Thank you, Patreon and Floatplane subscribers for making this kind of madness possible. Level, it's a little bit level one diagnostic and a little bit window into the insanity that's sort of creeping in. I'm Wendell, this is level one, I'm signing out. You can find me in the level one forums, which is where I get some of my ideas for real stuff like this. And sometimes it takes me a while to find solutions, but I will eventually. <laughs> Ha 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 ha